What is up guys, Expresses on here. Um, I'm back with another tutorial. So, I asked you guys on the 5 unsubscribe special what you want to see. And a logo, one of the most asked things in the comments. So that's why I'm here with the logo. I'm not as uh, <laughs> so good at logos. You'll see that. But I think this, um, this is a clean, simplistic logo. Uh, this is going to be in Illustrator. But after that, we're going to be in Photoshop to do the final touches on the logo. So the first thing I, I do with this, I, I did with this logo, we go to Google Translate. There you go, Google Translate. Go to direct language to uh, Japanese, because we're going to do a Japanese kind of style. Type something random in, like epic or something, I don't know. But I just, uh, I've taken this. I think this is a, a nice Japanese f uh, text or kanji or whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but you can do uh, anything if you just type that uh, Japanese text in the thing because this is I think this is this looks nice and we're just gonna make it extra nice. So what we want to do is just make a rectangle, not too small, not too big for the top one. I'm gonna just turn that around. I'm going to make that a bit smaller because it's the top one, you know. I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna turn that around. I'm gonna make that a bit bigger. I don't even have to hold shift or anything with this. You just Make it. You just go at the edge. And just make it bigger. That is that. That is Illustrator. I'm not so good at Illustrator. To copy things, you just Control C, Control V. No Control J, because this program doesn't doesn't do that. And the thing is, I am not going to make this curve. I'm just gonna make. I'm just gonna copy the middle one, and then du duplicate that again. And just gonna turn that around like uh like this. Probably thinking, what the fuck is that? But just just go with it. Maybe I turn them a bit more around. Maybe a bit more. Just, uh, I'm going to um, transform him and I'm going to reflect him 90 degrees. There you go. I'm going to put another line in the middle of this to know where, I, where I'm putting this. There you go. And this at the same place. There you go. Uh, I'm going to make this a bit bigger now. Going to put a line there as well to make sure they're the same size. There you go. So the thing is what we do now is we go to over to our rectangles and we click on the first one and we make everything. We need every corner we, we curve it or we make it a little bit we smooth edges, you know. We don't put it at there because that looks a bit weird. We just put it um, at two millimeters. Two, let me see. Yeah, about two. I do that with every, every rectangle. Put it at two millimeters. There you go. This one as well. Put it up on two. Two, there you go and you have everything smoother that so now what we want to do I don't want to be I don't want to be everything I don't want everything to be smooth so you double click on one little circle and you just click it outwards so it's not smooth anymore I'm going to do the same thing on the other side there you go and now we're going to do the same thing here same thing there and I'm going to do the same thing there there you go and I think that's a lot better a whole lot better and now what i want to do is uh, maybe if you want I, i'm just going to merge everything together and i'm going to do this with this tool the shape builder tool I'm going to select your object and i'm just going to make sure everything is selected and then it makes one singular object there you go and everything is together there you go. Uh, and then the thing I like to do is make it just an outline to see if everything is fine and everything is fine. So we're gonna fill everything again, just select it and there you go. So we are back in Photoshop with the logo. You, you have saved it as an illustrator and just put that in Photoshop. So the thing is what you do, what you can do is you can put a gradient overlay on that and you have a nice colorful logo. You can put it on a black background and put the color overlay on white you also have pretty nice logo put your name on beneath it or something like that like that or you can make your name like huge select it 
make it huge, make it turn a bit around, double click on it, remove the opacity, put a stroke on there. There you go, I'm going to make that a bit smaller. I'm going to put the opacity also a bit down. I'm going to copy that. Oh. I'm going to copy only the text, I'm going to put that a bit higher. There you go, I'm going to put that a bit lower. There you go. I think this is this is a quite nice logo in my opinion. You can put a drop shadow on it if you want. But you don't have to. Drop shadow. It's quite nice. We can put some light spots on it as well. There you go, that has a nice light from the above. Let's make that a bit bigger, put the opacity a bit down. There you go, now I have a nice light spot as well. We can put some circles in the background, we can put some rectangles in the background, like we can do something like this. If you like that, you don't have to though, you don't have to, you don't have to. But if you think this fits, this fits. Put your path all the way down as well. There you go. And you have a quite nice logo in my opinion. You can put another background on it, like... You can, you can do whatever, you can really do whatever. You can put on everything another gradient, another gradient map. Like, and look, this, this that, that already looks fantastic, like... Color, that this 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 is already fantastic. Like what well, this is this is really nice. Maybe if I put the text above everything, double click on that, remove the gradient, put a color overlay on that, and remove the drop shadow as well. And look look at this. I think this is this is this is really nice. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I swear I I think I seen I seen this before, and I I I do not know from where, but that's just like the first fucking. Japanese translate from epic so I don't know so yeah uh, get your own translation get your own um, Japanese text do what I've done uh, make your own spin on it maybe do do whatever you want and yeah thank you guys for watching this um, logo tutorial <laughs> thank you guys for watching leave a like the more if you want and see you guys in the next one